Wondering where to find all the great new features in iFix 6.0? I'm Kathleen. I'm an information developer here at GE Digital, and I'm going to give you a quick tour of some of the most notable ones. This includes long tag names and descriptions, alarm shelving, OPC UA server, picture publishing for WebHMI, new security application features, fix VBA updates, expression editor updates, and domain caching. So let's get started. Long tag names and descriptions. We're going to start by going into the database manager. For a block, you can now enter a long tag name and description here, like this. Alarm shelving. Now this one's a little more involved. We're going to be looking at new UI in both the database manager and the iFix workspace. Here's a list of blocks that currently support alarm shelving. Alarm shelving is all about making it easier for the operator to troubleshoot issues, temporarily removing nuisance alarms. Matt Wells, our VP of Product Management, did a great podcast with the Control System Integrators Association. The link is below if you're interested where he talks about the future of automation and how it's not just about automating tasks anymore. It's also about creating the capability to improve the human performance, helping humans work more effectively. You'll see this theme throughout iFix 6.0, and certainly alarm shelving does that. So in the database manager, to configure alarm shelving for a block, just select this checkbox in a policy. Select Shell Policies icon to add and configure your policies. Now in Workspace Configure Mode, to add alarm shelving to your alarm summary object, Select the Columns tab, and then move these two fields over and click OK. On the Filter tab, select this checkbox and click OK. When you move to Run Mode from the Alarm Summary object, select the alarms you want to shelve from the right-click menu and click Shelve. Select the Duration and then click Shelve again. You could select multiple alarms as well and then click Shelve. Now onto the OPC UA server. The OPC UA server allows OPC UA clients to access iFix data and alarms. You access the OPC UA configuration tool here, enable it here, and then configure it using these tabs. Picture publishing for WebHMI. Earlier we talked about the theme of improving human performance. Well, the model-based design used in WebHMI certainly does that too, and publishing to WebHMI is even easier in iFix 6.0. On the Tools tab, you can find this Picture Publish icon brings up this dialog box where you can select the pictures to publish like this. New security application features. In the security configuration utility, you'll notice when you add application features to user profiles, there are two new ones, alarm shelving and OPC UA configuration tool right here. Fix VBA updates. Here you'll notice some changes for alarm shelving as well. For instance, there's a new property to display shelve alarm and some new methods for alarm shelving, such as shelve alarm and unshelve alarm. There are also updates to the EDA toolkit for alarm shelving, but we won't go into those here. Expression editor updates. In the expression editor, the default refresh rate changed from 0.1 to 1 second. And for alarm counters, you'll also see a new field here. Domain caching. iFix 6 supports multiple domains and domain caching. Enable domain caching in the secnet.ini file located in the iFix local folder. So basically, you're just going to change this setting to 1 to enable it, and then save the file and restart iFix. And be sure that other security countermeasures are also enforced, such as strong passwords. For more information on each of these features, check out the videos in our Intro to iFix 6.0 playlist. Thank you for watching.